So far, we've seen how the Swimmelane timeline can visualize single and multiple Microsoft project and project server schedules. Now let's take a quick look at how the Swimmelane timeline can help you visualize your Excel data too. You know, many organizations use Excel spreadsheets to store time-phased information for all kinds of data, like project schedules, resource assignments, leased equipment, etc. The problem is that it's really difficult to get a quick sense of what's happening when looking at a tabular spreadsheet. And that's where the Swimline Timeline can help. Let me show you what I mean. Here's a spreadsheet containing information about a group of top projects that a corporate division is working on. Notice that there are fields for project name, project start and finish dates, project percent complete, total work and duration, who owns the project, um, the current project status, and the roadmap type that the project is associated with. There are just a, a couple of requirements that Excel source files need to adhere to in order to work with the Swimlane timeline. For example, there needs to be a field called name, and there needs to be at least one field that is either start date or finish date. I'll start up the Swimlane timeline from the desktop shortcut, and I'll switch from looking for the default MPP file types uh, to looking for Excel files. Now I'll point it to the spreadsheet that we were just looking at. The Swimlane timeline has just read in all of the spreadsheet rows and since there was no outline numbering in this Excel source file, Swimlane timeline solicits the user for the fields to use for grouping the named items. I'll choose the project status field so I'll be grouping by project status values. The swim lanes are stacked in the order that the group by values are encountered in the source data. Now I can further compress this swim lane timeline view using the task height option by changing it from the current default medium height to short height. I'll also turn off today's date lines since they're really it's not really applicable for these demo projects. And if I wanted to report on just those projects with a project status value of late or late due to predecessor, then I can use the swim lane timeline custom named filter option in the manage ribbon. The name filter option allows users to create reusable filter that will be available in all future swim lane timeline diagrams. In this case, I'll create a custom filter named late projects view. I'll insert one row to test for project status equal to late and insert another row to test if project status is equal to late due to predecessor. If I needed to create a really complex compound filter, I can double click on the parentheses fields to add additional parentheses. Notice that the filtering logic is summarized beneath the table to make it easy to ensure that I have the filtering logic that I want. There is also a checkbox to apply to current swim lane timeline so when I click save the filter is applied. Now that's a good view in the projects running late. But what if I wanted my report to show all projects however group by owner and colored by status. So I had all the information I wanted but just looked at slightly differently. Well, I have a predefined style that I'll apply right now that displays projects by owner and I have a predefined format that applies formatting based on project status so I can get the coloring uh, that I want. Now I could point out the differences perhaps between Q3 2010 and Q3 2011 using the new highlight window option. To highlight task intervals or timeline intervals, users only need to select them first and then click on the highlight window option. I'll select Q3 2010 and then control select Q3 2011. I could also use shift select Q3 2011. And then I'll click on highlight window. Users can also change the highlight window colors and type in text labels if, if they want. 
because this is Visio, I can also insert any Visio object onto the diagram. In this case, I'll insert a Visio 2010 cloud callout shape. And let's type in you know, add resources for late projects as a discussion point. Now I can share this with my corporate sta stakeholders using the Visio Save as Web option. Notice that Internet Explorer allows me to pan and zoom the swim lane timeline diagram via the pan and zoom window. I can also search for a project I care about by using the search capability. I'll search for the word security and it found the project I wanted. If I click on the item found, it'll take me right there uh, in the diagram and point to it, show me where it is, which is pretty nice. I can also click on the plus sign to see the shape data field values associated with that project. Well, you've just seen how the swim lane timeline can be used to visualize Excel spreadsheets and be shared via the web. And that concludes our live demonstration. Let me switch back to the slides to tell you about Swimlane Timeline pricing and the great fall promotion that we have going on right now.